Hiya. Uh, so now we're going to look at a different approximation uh, called the Poisson approximation. Um, and so what we saw in the last uh, kind of section is there's a way to kind of look at the normal approximation and skew it a little in order to get um, what we call the skew normal approximation in order to better approximate the binomial distribution. Uh, next, we're going to look at a different way of doing this called the Poisson approximation, which is um, in a way nicer when we get further and further, um, when we have small p and we have big N kind of thing. Uh, and so again, so we're going to look at this um, just as before. We let uh, p, if p is equal to one half, uh, normal approximation is amazing, but the further we get, the worse it is. Um, and this is really coming from the binomial distribution not being a perfect curve. Uh, and we kind of saw something like this earlier. So if we let n is equal to 100 and we let p or 1000 and I let p to be 1 over 1000, uh, we actually end up getting the following distribution. So here I'll rewrite this again. So p is equal to 1 over 1000, um, n is equal to 1000. So I have a 1 in 1000 chance um, that something occurs, uh, but n is equal to 1,000. So I'm really expecting this to happen either zero or one times, right? Like I'm not expecting too many times. And you kind of see this, right? Zero and one are the peaks and then everything else kind of goes away. So this doesn't look at all like our normal approximation, right? This is normal. Here we almost have something that's more like that, um, which is very different. And so we're going to use this mentality uh, to kind of look at when n and p are kind of close to each other, right? So if I take this and I do n times p, notice how I just get 1. So if my n times p, my expected value, is really close to 1, then we're going to be able to use this Poisson distribution instead. Uh, and this is really just the idea, right? So if we had let p is equal to 1 over n, so let me grab a little highlight thingy. Yay, highlight. So we get p is equal to 1 over n. Uh, and in this case, we let n be roughly, yeah, so n is just some number. And remember, our expected value is mu is equal to n times p. So p is 1 over n. n times 1 over n is n over n. So it's equal to 1. Um, and so as we increase n, what happens? So as n goes to infinity, p goes to 0. So 1 over n goes to 0. And mu. Well, what happens to mu? Mu basically stays at 1. Mu doesn't really change, right? It's still division. Um, and so what this kind of gives us, this limit distribution, so as we keep mu constant, we're keeping the expected value constant, but we change n and p, this gives us a different distribution, uh, a different approximation. And this approximation is called the Poisson approximation. Poisson approximation is not named after the fish. It is named after a person whose surname is Poisson. Um, as we noticed um, from one class, uh, surnames in mathematics are very exciting. Um, okay, so we have basically what we end up getting. I'm not going to go into how this is um, developed and stuff like that. But basically what we end up having is the number, if we want k successes, successes, this is going to be approximated by e to the mu, uh, sorry, to the minus mu, times mu to the k over k factorial. And here mu is really our expected value, n times p, right, for the binomial distribution. So again, we're doing everything in the binomial distribution. Um, and really the reason why this is because, um, well, because the this e function, right, e normally, if you think about it, e looks like this, right, normally. But if I'm doing e to the minus, I'm dividing all of this. So basically what I end up having is a function that looks um, like this, right? Because this always has to be above 0. But it kind of comes in quickly. Um, I guess it shouldn't be this way. It should be like that. Um, right, so it's going to come really close to 0. Um, and this actually, just like with the normal curve, remember how we the normal approximation, the normal curve itself is itself a distribution. 
Poisson itself is also a distribution. So if I let my p function, if I let p of k be given by e to the minus mu, where mu is some number, times mu to the k over uh, k factorial. Um, I think I have a typo in my notes. Um, let me double check. Yeah, my notes were wrong, but this is the right um, distribution. So we have e to the minus mu times mu to the k divided by k factorial. Uh, so in the next video, we're going to look at some examples of this Poisson approximation and kind of how this works. Um, so I will see you then.